Welcome and thank you for joining me here on day 12 in our 30 day 10 minutes workout challenge. So besides the workout yesterday, I gave you a challenge to find that favorite spot on your body. And I really truly hope that you could find easily one and hopefully a lot more than one favorite spot in your body. Today's challenge, we're going to do an app and a back workout so many women always consider if they have a little bit too much in that core area so besides of course you want to look good in that core app area it is so important for your daily life to preventing and protecting your back for just doing different kind of things that we do in our daily life so this is what it's all about our app and uh, back muscle so that will be the core area for today's 10 minute session we are gonna work for five different kind of exercises and we're gonna work for one minute and 15 seconds for the next exercise. We're gonna do the five exercises one after each other and we're gonna do that for two rounds, rounding up to be 10 minutes plus a little bit extra with the break in between the 15 seconds, but uh, I hopefully we can manage that. So let's go with the first exercise, which is gonna be a slow sit out. So we are going down on straight arms in a straight arm position here. And we are having our arms straight underneath our shoulder joints and we are engaging our core muscle and our pelvic floor. And we're gonna slowly move one leg at the time underneath and feel the full ab area working as well as our oblique muscle. My timer will go on here for the one minute and 15 seconds, counting down from 10 for you to get ready in a nice position with unlocked elbows and squeezing in that ab area. So turning in, slowly moving that leg underneath so our side of the hip is pointing down towards the exercise mat. So reaching under and alternative between those two legs. You can do this on your forearms if it's too much. You can go down and continue here. So keep it going for another 30 seconds. Don't think about anything else than putting your mind into feeling the squeeze, the muscle mind connection between your brain and your muscle for you to feel every single repetition. Inhaling and exhaling a good qualified breathing for you to stay good all the way through. Squeezing, doing the rotation. <sighs> yep. We are going down into a plank position. We're gonna reach up and we are gonna move, clapping one knee at the time from our plank. So three more seconds, two and up we go. Clapping that knee and engaging your ab muscle. Challenge our balance using our core area. So that being our deep back muscle, our ab muscle and our pelvic floor. All making that good core area. Squeezing in just a few seconds, we are going down, lying on our stomach, getting, getting a little bit away from our shoulders. So tapping that knee, coming up, straight up and straight back again. Buttocks is opening up a little bit here, back into that plank position. Up we go, straight line. Squeezing. Bring it up and out. Three more seconds. Yep, lying down. Thumbs are pointing up, lifting ourselves up and ready for swimming where we are looking down the full time and we are trying to get up, connecting with our back muscle. So up we go. If this is too much, you can turn this into a diagonal lift, moving up and back again so if possible you stay up here or maybe you have a shoulder issue you could just bring your arms down and go on from here and of course you can do a little bit of both and if possible reaching up with that chest feel that you're almost only resting on your belly button so up we go getting a nice tight squeeze in our glute muscle along the spine 
around those shoulder blades and that nose is still pointing down and we are going for another 15 seconds squeezing swimming on land inhaling and exhaling keep that movement for another five seconds getting up to a sitting position ready for a Russian twist so arms are going one direction and our knees and legs are going in the opposite doing this twist so leaning back and we are doing the turning here so squeezing avoid just tapping a little bit on each side over feel the connection with your oblique muscle and of course you have your whole core area tighten so leaning back as low as you can go without falling back and squeezing reaching over inhale and exhale 30 seconds squeeze you get that little extra squeeze out of it when you are over in the full range of motion where it's not possible to go any further squeezing 10 more seconds keep reminding yourself you're not going for that long of a period of time but you are connected and intense while you are working <sighs> lying down on our back toes are coming up we are reaching out for those toes back again so try to push that lower back into the exercise mat and not lifting with your head we are lifting with our ab muscle back into position reaching up so what is dragging us off this exercise mat is because we are squeezing our ab muscle back again and keep that chin in where it belongs so it's not your head lifting you off so imagine you have a little ball underneath your chin and you can always go further down with your feet for a little extra challenge 20 seconds and of course you can keep going with knees bended to ease up a little bit of the pressure of your lower back remind yourself to get that pelvic floor a squeeze before you are moving up pushing everything down yep back into exercise number one for our second and final round so use that rest period to get in in contact with your core area we are going for the slow sit out squeezing and turning and you do know this is our final round so keep that connection don't think about anything else squeezing bring it in and back out again turning squeezing and you should kind of feel some sweat coming out here if you're squeezing hard enough 14 seconds bring that knee under squeezing back to position and we are going in for that plank position so now you know what's to come the tapping on opposite arm to opposite knee but still keep the knee going straight up and back towards your chest and back in squeezing so as we are going underneath here we are getting a bit up with our buttocks but then we're turning it back into a plank position again so a little bit up back into center up we go center so we are squeezing even more up with that arm back into center squeeze 
and we can do it because there's only 20 more seconds for this exercise counting down bring it up feel the tightness yips going all the way down ready for a swimming final round of that one thumbs are coming up nose is pointing down squeezing our glute area and up we stay looking down feet lifted off the ground inhale and exhale and you can go for that lift or you can go with your arms down here and if you are feeling fine with doing the extension in your back you just go up as high as you can and if it's feel a bit uncomfortable you just stay slow and keep it working here inhaling and exhaling feel the squeeze don't think about anything else this is your 10 minutes where you are focused on you 18 seconds and two exercises left keep that air floating into your lungs big part of that core area and the will function core area to have that breathing nice and connected into a sitting position leaning back engaging and lifting up those feet and turning if you feel any uncomfortable in your lower back try to engage your core muscle a bit more and if that's already been done you could put your heels down for a little extra modification turning and twisting squeezing and i'm telling you in my daily life as a physiotherapist most of my clients have a back issue because their core air is not working properly maybe they are sitting most of the day not exercising that area so just doing a little bit each day can really prevent you from any soreness in your back so keep that in mind 10 minutes is a lot better in doing nothing not yet lying down reaching for our toes and our final exercise so do it as good as possible if it's feeling tight do the modification so up we go lifting with our abs pushing up so you can keep your feet up if it's better for your lower back but you can challenge yourself to move those feet down as your upper body going down or do the bended knee position anyways it is your abs lifting you off slowly down again feel the connection and do remember your pelvic floor before you are all bringing yourself up only 20 seconds to go staying up for just a little bit feeling the squeeze five more seconds up we go yes beautiful so just turning around and lying on your forearms getting a good nice stretch here a good feeling in your lower back and a nice stretch in your ab area so most of the time we do a lot of work in front of us sitting like this so this is a good thing coming down here now and then doing the stretching and the hyper extension in your lower back great job i hope you can feel your ab area now so today i'm gonna challenge you to either today or tomorrow i'm gonna challenge you to send a message 
to somebody who needs it, somebody you do, you maybe haven't spoken to for a while, somebody who would love to get a message for you, telling that you are thinking of that person. And maybe, maybe you think, but then Kristen, what is that about fitness? It has to, a lot about the mental fitness. What makes you having a long, happy, healthy life is not just having a big biceps, it's also having a good mental physique, and that is having a good, good area of people around you that cares about you and think about you. So that goes both ways. So send that message to somebody who needs it, somebody you love, and maybe somebody you haven't spoken to for a while. So I challenge you to do that. Tomorrow I will see you for day 13. Take good care and stay happy. Bye.